Well, Dennis, this game ended up being a lot closer than many of the 49ers wanted. It was 30 to 13 entering the fourth quarter, and it ended up being 30 to 27. They built that lead partially on a Matt Brieta 66-yard touchdown run with Pierre Garcon blocking down the field for Brieta. Brieta had 11 carries for 138 yards, and this is what he had to say after the game. The 66-yarder. Uh, it was just a great job by the O-line. You know, uh, they were blocking well our game, and uh, they just opened up a huge hole in that play. And I just fouled Pierre to the end zone. Uh, he came my fullback essentially down the field. And uh, like I said, those guys blocked their butts off all game. What do you think about the way Garcon blocked the, the final end of that play? Uh, he's a monster. You know, uh, he, he's fearless to go over the middle and catch balls, and he's not afraid to block. And, you know, I feel like that's what's one day going to make him a Hall of Famer. You know, uh, he's been in his league for a long time, and that's the reason why, because he can do it all. At that point, have you communicated all with him? Are you, is there anything exchanged? Uh, during the play? Yeah, during that play. Just playing black backyard football. You know, you see someone break break a long run, see when someone out there running, you got to block someone, just go block them. And uh, that's what he did, turn to a blocker. So, uh, you pulled up a little bit mm -hmm. just to make sure he was in front of you. Is it hard to have that patience where you have to come? Oh, it is, yeah, because, you know, in college, you know, you, you know, you can outrun a lot of those guys. And now in the NFL, you know, a lot of those DBs and safeties, they all run 4-3, so you just can't outrun everybody. So you got to be able to set up your blocks. And I just seen uh, Pierre out there, you know, just was patient. And uh, like I said, he blocked his butt off, and I was able to get in the end zone. Yeah, what happened on the uh, near interception there at the end, the pass out towards you? Uh, they just played, it, played, a, played good ball. You know, they were in the right coverage. Um, there's not much, you know, we could have done on that play. You know, we probably could have, you know, maybe had a different play call. But like I said, they did a, Lions did a great job of great play calling there. Um, on their side, and uh, you know, he made a play. Luckily, we had the holding call because uh, it could have been a lot worse. What did your like immediate see that, that flag come out, or we see the call go that way? Sign of relief. I mean, just want to thank God and know that you know you're still in this game. When, when Tarek went down, the injury, there were a lot of questions about where you guys would be at, at running back. How gratifying is it for you to be able to perform this high today? Uh, it's great, you know. Like I said, a lot of people thought this year, you know, that you know uh, I was gonna, you know, get as much playing time as I did last year, and uh, you know they planned on using both of us a lot. So, uh, like I said, it, it sucks that Jet went down, but you know me and uh, Alfred, you know, Alfred had a great game too, and I feel like you know me and him are gonna, you know, be able to help this team out a lot, and we're gonna have a great year. Kind of following up on that, you know, splitting carries with Alfred, you know, opportunities can be limited. In mm -hmm. that sense. So. How important was that for you to break off a big room when you did see a hole like that? You just got to make the most out of your opportunities, you know. You can't complain. You got to be a team player. You know, whatever role you're out there for, just go play football. You know, um, when you're not selfish, great things happen.